Hi. So this is a small video uh, covering the replacement of uh, my timing belt on my Volvo Penta MD22LA. Uh, uh, all the parts used uh, come from cars. I ordered them from Germany, Autodoc, uh, which is a lot cheaper than buying them from Penta, uh, which would cost you a fortune. So I'll try to guide you through. Uh, I started off with opening this plastic front cover. Um, first, of course, releasing the uh, pulley, the water pump pulley, which you saw on the previous pictures there. As the plastic cover comes off, then you can see the uh, timing belt. And here is uh, some proof of the uh, idler leaking grease, so it needs to be replaced, clearly. You need to lock the crankshaft and the camshaft and also the fuel pump and in doing so you turn the crankshaft uh, clockwise and you will find a little hole uh, next to the flywheel as you can see here in that picture where you should be able to fit a drill uh, 6.5 millimeters. You also need to lock the camshaft which is done through this hole at the very top uh, I put a 6.5 millimeter drill in. I marked the, dr uh, the drill um, with a pen just to make sure, make it easier for me to see when the drill actually comes in the right position. Also for the flywheel as can be seen here. Uh, I made a mark and then I turned the crankshaft gently, carefully until the position is reached. This can also be seen on the uh, pulley for the fuel pump uh, which needs to come to a particular position. This is marked um, with a small white uh, color stain and it matches the back of the uh, plastic back cover. Now the drill at the top sinks down and you can see my mark there disappears. I also lock now the fuel pump pulley with two M6 60 millimeters uh, screws. And also, which is not shown here, but the flywheel, I also inserted the drill there. So now I can release the um, tensioner and the idler and also eventually the timing belt. So when it comes to the idler, in this case, it wasn't that damaged, but it, 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 you could see from the leakage of some grease there that it's time for it to be replaced. I decided to go for Loctite on that screw for the idler. Better safe than sorry. Now to get the belt on was not that easy. I had to loosen the camshaft pulley a bit uh, to be able to wiggle it and uh, then I could s uh, slide on the belt and re-tighten the pulley. Adjusting the tension to the belt was another challenge and I had to settle with a compromise here. Due to the very limited space in the engine compartment, I couldn't fit a tensioning tool in there. So I just had to find a tension that seemed, uh, seemed reasonable. This is a, an, a coming upgrade that I'm planning to do to cut out some more space in the engine compartment so that I, for future services can measure the belt tension properly.
despite the issue with not being able to fit a tensioning tool into the engine compartment, the engine has worked just fine. 